Hello, my name is Belinda Real, and I'm the Clinical Improvement Lead for Falls and I work in the Clinical Governance Unit. Um, last year I was fortunate enough to be one of the winners in the $10,000 um, level four for the improvers and that was the development of a Falls video. My name's Catherine O'Shea, I'm a Senior Occupational Therapist in the Rehab Service and I'm a Category 2 winner for the Improvers. My name's Michaela Field, I'm from the Speech Pathology Department and last year we won the People's Choice Award in the Improvers and that was for the Cough Reflex Testing Project. Patients can watch the video at their bedside, so this is patient education. The service has really benefited from the $50,000 in that we now have the Sabo Arm program being delivered in all of our rehabilitation units as well as our rehabilitation outpatients. So we also have two research projects that are, um, have links nationally and they're um, currently being reviewed by our research ethics committee. The main benefit of the improvers was it allowed us to change from a, the project from a small quality improvement project into a formal research project where we also were able to get the benefit of experience from the Griffith University staff as well. The one thing I learned um, through this process was to have a go. Um, as a nurse I didn't think I'd be capable of, of getting a video together um, but I learned something about myself. The service has really benefited from winning the improvers and that we were able to show what we can do um, and what we do with our patients every day and some of the outcomes that we can achieve with our patients. The improvers process was an amazing process to go through because it allowed us to get our little project off the ground in a really quick amount of time that we wouldn't have been able to do it otherwise. Uh, one of the great things was that it increased the rehabilitation service and Gold Coast Health pro uh, profile nationally in that we uh, also were on the television uh, on Channel 7 News and also had a segment on the Gold Coast Bulletin um, and also have had uh, a lot of interest with phone calls nationally. One of the biggest things I learnt was that no idea is too small people will still get on board and people will still support your ID if it's a good idea and they can see the benefits to the patients and to the hospital. Any idea that's going to be able to improve our service and at the end our patients are going to gain is obviously a winner. So what I'd say to future applicants is definitely put your idea in because you never know where it might lead and to apply in the highest category. <laughs> get up and present your project, believe in it and deliver it with passion.